The leader of the Vigo County School Corporation says we are at a critical crossroads and something needs to be done. Good evening and thanks for joining us. We have team coverage tonight. News 10 Sarah Lehman and Rondrell Moore were both at the Vigo County School Board meeting tonight. They have all the information you need about the future for Vigo County Schools. We are first going to get to News 10 Sarah Lehman. She's live in front of the school administration building in downtown Terre Haute. She has more on what the presentation was all about tonight. Sarah. Patrice, tonight here at the Vigo County School Board meeting, Superintendent Dr. Rob Hayworth gave a presentation outlining the problem areas and concerns at the school. It was a proposal to the board and anyone who was there about what they're going to do to help moving forward. In a presentation to the Vigo County School Board Monday night, Superintendent Dr. Robert Hayworth says the school is at a critical crossroads in cash balance. He says since 2016, he believes the school corporation has been deficit spending or spending money we don't have. We're not acting out of desperation. We believe we have some plans to put in place. We look forward to taking those plans to our community, see what their reaction is, uh, and so that we can secure a strong future for our students. Hayworth says some of the reasons for the decline are less state and federal funding, inflation, and a total decline in students. A lot of those things we can't change. Hayworth gave examples in his presentation of ways everyone can help the corporation. I believe the best course of action is reducing our budget by four million dollars and going to our community asking for some assistance. The financial status wasn't the only thing discussed. The district has also seen a huge shortage in teachers. Hayworth says 42 teacher positions were filled by long-term subs last year. He's explained how the school is behind on technology for the students and staff. He says there's a huge need in updated equipment. But Monday night wasn't about answering all of these questions. Hayworth says it's something he wants to hear from you. How do we respond to that situation is really the conversation we want to start. Now Hayworth is going to be holding community forums like he did when he first started this job last year. Dates, times and locations for those will be announced later this week. Now to continue our team coverage, News 10's Rondra Moore is back in our newsroom. He has more on a referendum that could affect you. Rondra? Well, Dr. Hayworth certainly threw a lot of information to the public to digest tonight, but it all comes down to a potential decision for you, the voter. During the meeting, Hayworth brought up four potential ways to fight the district's financial and staffing issues. The first would be to cut nearly $8 million from its budget. This could include things like freezing wages, restructuring buildings, reducing staff and other positions. And next, he presented putting a referendum on the ballot in the near future. It would ask for $8 million. That money would come from property taxes. Now, these two options would only help the district stay afloat. They would not address staffing issues. The third option would be to put a referendum asking for $10 million on the ballot. This would address staffing, but Aworth is suggesting a fourth option. It would be a combination of cutting the budget by $4 million and asking for $7 million in a referendum. That option would break down like this. If it happened, taxpayers would pay 16 cents out of every dollar they pay for property taxes. That means roughly if you pay $100,000 for your home, you'd be paying $53 a year or roughly four and a half dollars a month. That number goes up or down depending on the value of your home. Now, we spoke with members of the Vigo County School Board tonight and they say they're not surprised by tonight's presentation. They agree something needs to be done. They applaud Hayworth's transparency in the situation as a welcome change from the past. I think you need to let people know and there's no reason, I mean, there's no reason to hide anything. Um, if there is, then there's something wrong and we have gone through that. Now, lots of things would need to happen before you'd ever see anything come out of your property taxes. The county would need to approve that referendum. Before that, the school board would need to decide if they even wanted to take that course of action. Board members tell me the referendum question will go before them sometime in July. Again, there was a lot to take in in this meeting. We have Dr. Hayward's full presentation and the slideshow on our website. That's WTHITV.com. Patrice.